Dear friends, uh, welcome again for this week's video. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, something that I promised during my, <laughs> uh, my short uh, a couple of weeks ago. So uh, now... <laughs> We will have a look at the uh, Donner Hashi Silent Portable Guitar. You may remember that I made uh, an unboxing in uh, this same channel, in this very channel, uh, some weeks ago, some months ago, <laughs> from the speaking now. Uh, but now I had the opportunity to try this uh, this device for, for a certain time, and I can finally give you an honest review about the topic. Uh, this review is uh, divided, is split into two different parts. This is part one and I will focus uh, to the device, uh, to the guitar from a purely technically and design point of view. Just to let you know what are the materials, how it is used, what are uh, engineering solutions that I find interesting or smart and something else that I didn't like so much. So stay tuned because I would like to show you also some details uh, that are not uh, uh, so fantastic in my opinion or could be improved uh, and maybe in a second uh, second mark of this uh, the same guitar so uh, first of all have a look at the structure the guitar is coming in the uh, bag that uh, for, for details about how it is delivered what are what is the exact content of the of the bag please have a look at the unboxing i will leave you a link on top uh, in, in this uh, this very video uh, but here i would like to show you what is used in everyday use what you need to to play it uh, without uh, any particular problem so there is the guitar that is uh, made like this let me try to show you in the camera the it, is, it has no headstock as you can see to make it shorter the body is very thin it is a single piece of wood sorry single piece of wood is the same wood for the neck and the body but it is, there are three actually three pieces as you may see there are the separations here there is a uh, an amplifier pre-amplifier because it is uh, an acoustic with a piezoelectric uh, pickup there is not a, a magnetic pickup these are the tuning packs and also uh, i will give you some other details but going on with the packaging it is delivered like this with already the, the strings uh, mounted on them by the way i when i received mine two of the strings uh, were so pulled that uh, when i tr st tried to, to tune them they broke immediately but they can be replaced with regular uh, 1047 uh, acoustic guitar uh, strings what you will always need during during everyday use are these frames that can be separated one goes uh, on the top part let me show you there are some holes where to where to place it sorry the top part is this side of course because it is turned upside down and you can understand in this small bag you will find and i'm keeping it always here because this way it doesn't damage the bag there is the other frame have a look the frames so give me show me some light the frames are provided with the holes here and there is also the thread here. So the screws used to, to, um, to keep the frames in position are not screwed in wood, but directly into the frames. That is, in my opinion, one of the first, uh, of the first drawback because it is risky. If by chance uh, I would damage it, this is aluminum, so it's not uh, stainless steel or something very strong, it's just aluminum. If with the screws I damage this thread, uh, it is uh, likely that I cannot fix it anymore to the guitar. And I think that maybe having it uh, screwed into the wood, or at least uh, uh, having something replaceable, replaceable would have been a better idea. In any case, in regular use, you will need to fix this one because you see the shape of the guitar. If you place it on your uh, on your lap, it's not uh, it's not easy to play it. Instead, with the frames, the playability is close to sort of Stratocaster or something like that, because it's a little small, in my opinion. So it stays a little low on your lap, but it is not easy to to get used to that. You just make the change the inclination. 
in any case it is always possible to use a strap the strap is provided within the packaging and can be used also as a strap to bring with you the the bag the full bag so it has double use and can be fixed to this so here this is a regular uh, hook for for that and the jack output is also the second uh, the second hook to to fix that one then it is provided with some screws i'm keeping some of them here ready ready to go so they are ready here too okay these are regular m4 screws as far as i can understand they have uh, the x uh, the x uh, bit to to be used and uh, within the package there are two additional screws so if by chance you would lose one of those uh, there are there are also some replacement much appreciated this thing in my opinion then uh, there is uh, this wrench that is uh, traveling with the guitar is a x wrench that of course uh, fit the screws but also the tuning packs uh, and uh, I will show you on the other side uh, also the uh, the thrust rod so you can uh, set everything in a guitar with this the strange thing in my opinion is that uh, this one has a replacement already in the kit but it is different size you see that the second one is longer so it doesn't fit here if you would uh, lose this and it is I uh, it is uh, likely in my opinion because it stays quite well in here and it is on the top of the guitar so it is uh, the gravity is not pulling it down uh, while playing uh, with, with vibration or something like that but it is not uh, magnetic or fixed uh, somehow why not putting a magnetic uh, a magnet here so that the screw is the the, um, the bit is not uh, is not lost but this is not uh, the case by the way i lost it a couple of times in a room then I was able to, to find it again, but okay, of course, there is also a replacement that I cannot use there. Why not keep, uh, providing two identical, identical bits? This makes no sense in my opinion, and I don't understand why. In any case, you need to put the screws in position and use, of course, the, the key to, to screw them. Of course, as I said, the screws are uh, screwing within the frames themselves so you need to make sure that they are in the right position you see that I'm moving them to make sure that they are okay no need to tighten them very strong because they kept well another point that I frankly don't understand perfectly is that on the top side where there is also the preamplifier so there is less room less wood available the frame is fixed in two position that means that the screw only keep it in position but the tilting is not uh, a problem because the, it has two two um, two vertex where it is uh, fixed the bottom one where you place uh, the, the the weight of the, the guitar where there is a higher risk to have the problem there is only one position if i if i unscrew a little this you see that it can tilt and it's not a big <laughs> a good idea why not having two a frame like the top one also behind here or even invert them i understand that this one was required because this way you can place your arm on that and feel like a regular guitar and this one for your knees is enough but at least two points for fixing that would have been a great improvement in my from my point of view Honestly speaking, when I looked at this, I thought, why not make this one bendable? This way I can pull out the guitar, open them in a second and play it immediately. Okay, fixing them, as you have seen, takes just a few seconds, so it's not a problem. But you need to have a place to rest because you need to make sure you don't lose components. There are small parts that can get lost easily so uh, this is not so practical that's why in my opinion if they had made the frames uh, somehow fixed to the guitar with uh, some hinges that would have been a great improvement but nevertheless it can work now let's replace this one here the guitar is also provided with this uh, this bag that i mean that was uh, supposed to include only the headphones but as it is uh, quite big i found very practical to use it for all the the immediate necessary to play so there are these uh, headphones sorry they are really really uh, wrangled so give me a second to 
I don't want to damage them. By the way, they look uh, good quality, they play well. Uh, my only concern is that they are uh, uh, very similar to, to the headphones used by um, bands uh, for, uh, for monitoring, as monitors, so they are really focused on, uh, med uh, on uh, medium and uh, treble. There are, uh, they are missing some bass. And uh, frankly speaking, when you just want to hear your, yourself playing the guitar, I'm suggesting another kind of screw of uh, headphones with a more balanced uh, equalization. This way it is easier to f and it feels uh, better. Nevertheless, you see, in this very bag, I place a plethora. The guitar is also provided with three different size plethora so you can find what suits you. Good addition as well. They are interesting, good quality, good grip. Uh, they are uh, smooth on the tip so they don't, uh, they don't get uh, stuck. Uh, and also there is a, a very welcome addition that is a tuner. This is really useful. This is really useful. It is a stamped donor as well as everything else. And it is very welcome because of course, if you use this guitar for, the, for its purpose, that is uh, using it uh, in uh, the, um, in the um, tra while traveling, uh, that is uh, a good addition because, of course, it's a single piece of wood, the neck and the body. So uh, changes in temperature, humidity have uh, an effect on that. Uh, and uh, I found myself tuning it uh, quite, uh, quite often, I would say, more or less every time when I'm traveling. I don't, I'm not telling you that this guitar is not staying in tune because uh, when it is tuned and kept uh, in a stable environment, uh, it is uh, reliable. No, no problems on that unless you touch the, uh, the pegs that, that is uh, easily done when moving the, the guitar. But for the rest, uh, if it is left um, resting alone, there's no problem. The, the, the tuning is good. But of course, when I change environment, the tuning is changing because, for example, I'm going to a hotter or, or uh, um, a colder place, uh, the, the, you will immediately find the effort. So this is this is very helpful. You see, normally what I do is like this. I have in this bag uh, the bottom frame. The top one is in the rest of the bag. I'm not showing it again. Then I have the the um, plethora here, the tune, the tuner, the headphones. I can fix them using the eggs uh, that is placed on the guitar, and I'm ready to play. So not a problem. Of course. Uh, these tuning packs, uh, I am, I'm going to show you now uh, also that, uh, that, uh, that topic, uh, allows you to, to set up the guitar. So let me show you the front of the guitar. Let me move aside these components that are not needed anymore now. Let's turn it around. Okay, let's have a look. The uh, tuning can be done with this uh, uh, frankly speaking, I found myself uh, uh, in the possibility to use just my hand to turn this one, even if they are small, because they have a, a good grip. They are all uh, lined. Let me see if I can show you closer. You see that they are rock, so they have uh, they have a grip, and you can turn them by hand and, reg and set the, the, the tuning. Of course, uh, we don't have the headstock. The the um, strings can be set, inverted by, compared to regular guitar. You see that there are the, the, the balls that are at the end of, the, of, any, um, of any string that are on this side, this time, instead of being on the headstock side. So you put the string from the top, from this side, and then uh, from here, you string on the length, put them, go under these uh, trees, uh, okay, the system is uh, could be better because, of course, this uh, method there are some angles that are quite uh, uh, tough. In my opinion, you see they are very strict, and this uh, uh, prevents the, the string to move freely. So sometimes for tuning, when you replace a, a string, you need uh, you need time. You need to, to set it back and forth uh, to to pull your string, uh, make sure that they are not stuck in the system but when you find the good combination that's not a problem it's a bit fixed bridge uh, and it's working like in, uh, without any particular difficulty if you are not so strong or if you want uh, a better precision in setting the guitar you can use uh, your key 
even here and it is working perfectly so a good uh, a good uh, fantastic uh, idea was to use uh, the same uh, screw size for everything by the way you can also set the truss rod the same way you just need to move aside this one and you should see sorry okay sorry for the matters of the camera you see the truss rod is this side like for for example some fender devices or some fender guitars and it is easy to fix it the the table is staying in its position by gravity you see because the guitar is used to stay like that and it is working quite uh, quite well so uh, you can set the truss rod you can set everything it's uh, it's possible to set it as a regular guitar as far as possible of course what is something that is missing in the setup this the bridge you see the action is uh, unbelievably high when it comes to you look at the last uh, at the last frames uh, at the last uh, frets uh, it is uh, four millimeters more or less 3.5 according to my measurements so it is uh, even for an acoustic guitar is too high i still need to set it uh, i will bring it to my luthier to to set this one but of course uh, it is something that uh, uh, that need to be fixed it's easy because it's a regular uh, this one is a regular bridge with the piezoelectric uh, pickup behind it, below it so it's easy for any luthier to to set it so frankly speaking this one was a good choice uh, of course uh, this is something that is needed i still uh, don't know if uh, the frets are perfectly even at the moment i have no fret buzz but with an action this high of course i would not expect any of that and by the way the frets uh, are quite good on the upper part uh, the corners are a little 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 cutting because they were it, it looks like they were um sanded uh, with uh, a strange angle so they feel a little more uh, picking but they, they are good it's not a problem okay so this uh, is something that needs to be set up as i said i made a basic setup using what was in the bag and i tried using it to find out a way without to decide by the way if i wanted to keep it or send it back and i was happy with this uh, this result my luthier will uh, will make the rest of the of the setting the materials used are interesting of course uh, the body and also the neck because it's the same the same piece of wood here you see so we are not speaking about uh, about uh, set or uh, bolt on neck this is a satin because it's uh, the full body this is a mahogany according to the specification and looking at the at the, the texture it looks like that so not in very expensive mahogany but it is quite light it's not so the, the, the guitar is very light it's a more more or less 1.3 kilograms according to my measurement without the frames with the frames is 100 grams more so it's very very light also for portability this is a great advantage as well uh, as i said mahogany there is also a um, something there are also different woods uh, like for example uh, maple uh, and in fact uh, you will see that also the color is different the device the, the guitar is available in four colors when i purchased it only the natural ones so mahogany or maple were available uh, now i see that according to the to their catalog it's also possible to have uh, um, a black one that should be based on the maple one. I'm not sure about it, so have a look or ask to the to the manufacturer because this is just uh, something I I thought uh, very similar, but I have no verification about that. And and then also there are there is a version with the sun barn that is based on the mahogany version, but also with some black around to to simulate the the sun barn. Very beautiful uh, also that one but i really like it you believe me it is better on uh, live than uh, on the uh, on the camera but it's a good piece of wood well worked and so on the neck of course is exactly the same the shape of the neck uh, you will find information on the back is not exactly a d because it is uh, thinner this side than this side so it is like a combination between a C and D shape. 
is uh, quite thin. It's uh, 1.8 centimeters at the top and 2.2 at the at the end. So it is thin for for a, an acoustic guitar. is quite thin, so very very practical. The um, width is a standard one, uh, similar to an electric or acoustic guitar of any kind. So it's a 43 millimeters. And uh, the fretboard, okay, you will, you may be uh, curious about. The fretboard is made of uh, high pressure lamination. So it is, uh, according to the specification, is some kind of pressed uh, laminated wood. It looks like plastic, frankly speaking, but I trust the, the because the, te the, the feeling when you touch the surface is slightly different from regular plastics. The frets, uh, to me look uh, like uh, regular nickel uh, nickel steel ones so normal ones the nuts according to the manufacturer specification these are bone frankly speaking to me they look like plastic <laughs> but i'm suspending my my conclusion for for the moment so as i said i'm suspending my my conclusion i will ask my luthier his opinion but as i said to me, it looks like plastic. It's not a big deal. By the way, I forgot to tell you that also the nuts here. This is not bad. The distance, uh, if I push the, the usual way, the, the second string, the distance looks uh, looks uh, fine. So this one uh, looks set up uh, quite well. The only complaint, in my opinion, is on this side because this one is very, very high. So starting from the, a certain point on the fretboard the, the the strings are very very high uh, compared to to what uh, we are used to 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 use so just uh, to recap very quickly i'm not showing you the how it plays it's an, an acoustic guitar without uh, a resonating chamber so of course uh, uh, it's not so resonating the the sound the play, the, is uh, different compared to a regular guitar. There is no, not the, F, the wood effect. So frankly speaking, the idea of using a piezo instead of a magnetic pickup and making it uh, an electric guitar looks somehow strange to me, but maybe there was, uh, there was uh, uh, a good reason for that. It's in any case, the main pros are uh, one, the portability. This guitar, in my opinion, is fantastic for portability. Also, during my test, uh, I really appreciated the fact that it is uh, almost completely silent because having no resonating chamber, it, it plays uh, with uh, very, very low noise. I could use it in my hotel room without anybody noticing it and I could bring it anywhere. There are different, uh, there, are, there are no particular um, weak points, so I used it literally everywhere i will show you during the during the next uh, video that it was possible to bring it to me everywhere very light one kilogram and two include with the bag uh, you will reach 1.6 kilograms so same, frankly speaking not even comparable to regular guitar then the scale length is is fine is a 25 so it's exactly like any other regular guitar is not a baby guitar so uh, it is shorter, much shorter than a regular guitar because it is 87 centimeters in length compared to one meter or so for, for a regular guitar. It can become very small. The bag is very small and it is very light. So uh, in my opinion, the, the, the idea was fantastic. There are very few alternatives in the market with this level of portability. Of course, uh, if you can afford and if you can travel with something a little bigger a little longer there are some travel guitars that plays definitely well better than this one uh, so um, as i said the portability the huge portability the possibility to bring it with you on the bus on the train without uh, uh, problem for weight or for the, the room uh, occupied that is uh, fantastic of course uh, there are uh, some big uh, cons uh, as at least uh, as it uh, as it arrives it needs uh, a full setup because uh, it's uh, really uh, unplayable i would say unless you use it just for open chords because this in this uh, area of the the fretboard uh, the the action is very very high too too much uh, you will always need a battery because you see this preamplifier that use uh, a nine volts uh, 
battery. By the way, also the battery is included in the package. Can play through the regular output or through the headphone output that you can find here. The headphone output uh, uh, is, uh, of course, needs amplification, so you will need this one. But also the regular output needs the amplification. If I set the volumes to zero in this one, or if I remove the battery, even from the regular output, there is no place. So in any case, this is an active pickup and needs to be powered. So if your battery is not working, you will not be able to play through any output. You will just hear the guitar when played like this, but it is uh, very quiet. Second, there is a huge interesting thing that there is the input for an external uh, device like an MP3 player, so you can use some backing tracks, but no Bluetooth. These days, uh, I would expect uh, th that because otherwise you need cables and these uh, really fight uh, with the possibility of traveling with this, uh, with this guitar. So I think that this one, I, I never use this one and probably I will never, I, I, I'll never do. I will just use my smartphone with the volume set to, to the maximum and play the, uh, the backing track uh, in the environment if I can, because using it here, in my opinion, is very, complicated is not much uh, much an improvement so having bluetooth would have been a great improvement also considering the whole system okay special tuning packs uh, okay for the uh, fretboard that is a material quite expensive because hpl by the way costs uh, much more than many kind of woods uh, because it is considered to be more stable uh, more reliable uh, when uh, when machining it uh, but in, the, in general, generally speaking, considering that we also we are only have a piezoelectric pickup, uh, not a fantastic one, by the way, not bad. I felt some. Uh, I had the opportunity to try something much worse than this, so it's not. Uh, uh, it's not sh shit. So sorry for the term, but it's not uh, so so bad. Uh, but it's not, of course, a top-notch uh, pickup like something that you can find in much more expensive instruments. And the whole packaging is worth uh, three three hundred dollars, uh, three hundred and thirty, by the way. But there is a ten percent discount that started uh, on day one and is still uh, valid. So it is. Uh, uh, exactly $299 that uh, this, uh, this system is, uh, is worth. Uh, can be expensive, in my opinion, compared to other guitars, because with that uh, amount of money, it's possible to purchase some electric guitars that are much better with different kind of woods, uh, you know, that inexpensive guitar have become better and better. Uh, but in any case, uh, there are just a few alternatives uh, because uh, Steinbergs uh, are uh, much less reliable, they play not so well, they are not so convenient, they are heavy and they, they play uh, very bad in my opinion. So uh, the setup is, uh, is uh, almost impossible sometimes to, 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 to those guitars. So uh, honestly speaking, there are just a few alternatives. But as I said, this is, this is a guitar for somebody that really wants something uh, as portable as it can be while keeping uh, a regular scale. If you, as I said, if you can uh, afford, uh, if it is possible for you to travel with something a little longer, a little bigger, purchase some uh, uh, travel guitar, you can save some money because there are some travel guitar that are around 150, like some Harley Bentons that plays very well, incredibly well com considering the price uh, and, and anything else. But this one is, is good, it's interesting. Uh, there is another important cons to consider from a technical point of view. This output, as I said, it is amplified also this one, so you need the preamplifier turned on. So the matter is, for example, yes, if you are familiar with the ch my channel, you know that I'm always using uh, new X devices, I can play with the, the MP Pro and I will show you during the next video the, the possibility to use it, including some effects, and it works uh, as expected. But by the way, the, um, I also have a new X Mighty Air and the wireless transmitter when connected here is not working because there is some voltage on this because it is amplified and it is something that is also written in the instruction manual of new X devices. Uh, when you use active pickups, like in this case, they are providing some voltage 
the transmitter feels like it is uh, connected to its charger because it uh, uh, measures a difference in uh, uh, measure a voltage, a current, and so it stops working and start charging. Of course, the charging is not going to happen because the power is very low, but nevertheless, the transmitter is not working. You just need to place some adapters. I will show you this one also in the next uh, in the next meeting. So. You, should, you would ask me, what do you think about this? Well, there are a lot of drawbacks, but there are just a few alternatives. Personally speaking, I really loved it. I decided to keep it, uh, in, uh, even if uh, my first uh, idea was just to test it uh, and send it back, because uh, during my holidays, during my travel, it was uh, fantastic uh, to have the possibility to bring it with me without uh, any worries. I will show you everything during the, during the next uh, video. But for the moment, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful, interesting. If you have additional questions or something that need to be clarified, feel free to, to write me something in the comments. Otherwise, I'm renewing you the meeting with the next uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.